Chembai Vijanatha Bhagavata aka Vijanatha Iyer the 1st of September 1896 to the 16th of October 1974 was a Carnatic music singer from Palakkad state of Kerala India Known by his village name Chembai, or simply as Bhagavata, he was born to Anantha Bhagavata and Parvati Amal in 1896, into a Tamil Brahmin family at Kottai I, II near Palakkada on Janmashtami Day. Chembai was noted for his powerful voice and majestic style of singing. His first public performance was in 1904, when he was nine. A recipient of several titles and honours including the Madras Music Academy's Sangeetha Kalanidhi in 1951, he was known for his encouragement of upcoming musicians and ability to spot new talent. He was responsible for popularising compositions like Rakshamam Saranagatam and Pavana Guru, among others. The music critic Eolus described him as the musician who has meant the most to Carnatic music in the first fifty years of the 20th century. His prominent disciples include Chembai Narayana Bhagavata, Mangu Thampuran, Guruvaya Ponamal, T. V. Gopalakrishnan, V. V. Subramanian, P. Leela, Jayan and Vijayan, K. J. Yesadas and Babu Paramaswaran, among others. He also mentored a lot of young accompanists, including Palgat Maniaya, Lalgudi Jayaraman, M. S. Gopalakrishnan, T. N. Krishnan, Palani Subramanian Palai and L. Subramanian. Memorial music festivals have been held in his honor annually since his death in 1974, the most important being the annually celebrated Chembai Sanglithalsavam. Early life The family's connection with classical music spans five centuries. Vijanatha Bhagavata's father, Anantha Bhagavata, was a violinist and singer from Chembai, near Palakkada, to whom a local Maharaja awarded the title, Gana Chakratanam, indicating his mastery of a special closed mouth style of singing tanam. At age three, Chembai began to learn Carnatic music from his father in the customary Guru Sishya tradition, and also began violin and flute training in 1912. Sembai is also one of twelve names of Sirkazi, the birthplace of St. Nanasambanda 7th century, C. E. in T. N. Singing career Some of the noteworthy early events that helped shape Chembai's career include his Arangetram debut concert in Ottapalam in 1904, performances at Vicom and Guruvaya in 1907, his year with Kalyakudi Nateza Sastri 1909, and the accolades he received from Palgat Anantharama Bhagavata 1911. Between 1913 and 1927, he performed at many different music festivals and sabhas, notably including the Madras Music Academy and the often forgotten Jagannatha Bhakta Sabha. <laughs> Release of recordings Chembai has many phonograph recordings to his credit, recorded from 1932 to 1946. Those were the days before the advent of the concert microphone, and a singer was entirely dependent on the timbre and reach of his voice for a successful concert. Chembai was blessed with a voice of great depth. Further, the perception that Chembai's repertoire of songs was limited is highly incorrect, since the number of different compositions he recorded is in the hundreds let alone the total number he performed in concerts and on radio during his career. <laughs> Lalita de Sarkritis Chembai's old friend, T. G. Krishna Iyer, from Tripunathura, had settled in Madras now Chennai, and offered a house to Chembai on Palace Road near Santhome. He had composed some 155 kritas in Malayalam, Tamil and Sanskrit under the mudra and requested Chembai to popularize them. 
Chembai set the Cretus to classical music and got them published under the name Lalita Dasa Kirthanagal. He made it a practice to sing these Cretus in most of his concerts. He also released a record containing selected Cretus from Lalita Dasar's Cretus like Evariki Telasunama, Danyasi, Enel Kaninda, Shankarabaranam, Pavana Guru, Hamsanandi, Variadala Lokani, Arabi, among others. Performing ability and style Chembai had a vigorous, strong, vibrant, ringing and resonant voice. He would sing in a clear, open-throated style that requires high levels of physical and mental endurance to pull off, yet, he did so in a seemingly effortless manner. He had a wonderful sense of accurate kala pramana time measure. He could do a niraval and swaraprastara from any given point, which bespoke of mental alertness in a concert. His empathy for his accompanists and disciples was noteworthy and he would go to great lengths to encourage them. Other stalwarts have admired the strengths in Chembai's singing. For instance, upon witnessing that Chembai was able to sing three major concerts in a single day, Sangeetha Kalanidhi G. N. Balasubramaniam is said to have remarked, These are not ordinary men. These are the Asuras of the music field. If I sing one concert, I need to rest the whole of next day." Legendary percussionist Padukottai Dakshinamurthy Palai would call him, Leia Brahma, for his impeccable grasp of Tala and Leia. Sangeetha Kalanidhi K. V. Narayanaswamy has also remarked on Chembai's ability to hold notes aligned perfectly to Sruti for extended intervals of time. Disciples Chembai had many students, including K. J. Yesadas and many noted musicians like Sangeetha Kalanidhi T. V. Gopalakrishnan, P. Leela, the Jaya Vijaya twins, and others. Death Chembai died suddenly on 16 October 1974, aged 78, of a cardiac arrest. Shortly before that, he performed his last concert at a Puzikanu Sri Krishna temple in Ottapalam, the venue of his first concert, and concluded the concert with his favorite song, Karunai Chivan Endu Thamasam Krishna. Why is there so much delay in conferring your mercy, Krishna? He was talking to his disciple Alapamana Vasudevan Nambuthirapad when he suddenly collapsed and died. His nephew said he had always spoken about an easy death, and had attained it. He was cremated in his birth village. The government. Musical College in Palakkada was renamed as Chembai Memorial Government Musical College in his memory. Awards and titles Chembai received several awards and titles during his career, most notably including Gyana Gandhava, a title bestowed by Kalki Krishnamurthy in 1940, Sangeetha Kalanidhi 1951, highest accolade in Carnatic music, Sangeet Natak Academy Award 1958, Sangeetha Kalasakamani 1964 by the Fine Arts Society Chennai Padma Bhushan 1973 the Padma Bhushan is a national award bestowed by the president of India on select musicians and other eminent people Chembai was selected to receive the award in 1973 from the then president V V Giri the Department of Posts, Government of India released a special issue stamp in Chembai's birth centenary year 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Music festivals Chembai had been conducting a music festival in his native village from 1924 onwards. This was continued by his family and now by Chembai Srinivasan and Chembai Suresh c. 
A. Subramanian. The concert, called Chembai Ekadasi Music Festival, is held annually in February to March. Chembai also held a music festival on Guruvaya Ekadasi Day mid -November at Guruvaya every year. This festival, now called Chembai Sangithalsavam in his honor, is officially conducted by the Guruvaya Devaswam Board. Guruvayurappan Chembai Puraskram The Sri Guruvayurappan Chembai Puraskram, awarded by Sri Krishna Temple, Guruvaya, is instituted in Chembai's memory of the late Chembai Vijanatha Bhagavata. This award, comprising a cash prize of 50,001 Indian rupees, a gold locket of Sri Guruvayurappan, a citation and ponadai, is usually presented during the annual Chembai Music Festival. The recipients of the Chembai Puraskram include Saxophonist Kadri Gopalnath 2013, Carnatic musician Trika V. Ramachandran Veena Maestro A. Ananthapadmanavan 2011, Carnatic musician K. G. Jayan 2010, Carnatic vocalist Parasala Ponamal 2009, Muradangam Maestro Mavalikara Vilakuti Nair 2008, Carnatic vocalist M. Balamurali Krishna 2007, Violin Maestro M. S. Gopalakrishnan 2006, Carnatic musician and Muradangam maestro T. V. Gopalakrishnan 2005. See also Carnatic music List of Carnatic singers <laughs>